hi guys welcome back to my channel today's makeup look is more of a testing slash review kind of thing going on i don't know what to call it yet but probably when i start editing it i might have an idea of what i want to call it so today we're going to be trying our primark dupe for the kkw contour kit well, this is how it looks i'm telling you primark went all the way it has similar you know i don't know vibe to it like the nudeness going on so this is how it looks so we're gonna be trying this like I've done my face up with so we need to highlight and I swap contour so we're gonna be using this to see if it's any good because I've never used the KKW product I don't own any of our product so I don't know how the formula is or anything but we're just gonna try this to see if it works for what it's meant to do I'm telling you guys Primark is actually stepping their game with makeup their makeup quality is going higher than it was five or six years ago i'm trying to think towards when i was in high school and you're going to primark you that foundation was really really chucky now they've stepped their game up and they're beginning to create more quality makeup product and as well as the color range has grown and um, the fact that they are trying to replicate kkw kit is actually interesting and um I can't wait to use this and tell you guys my views on it before we get into this video guys don't forget to like this video if you like it as usual give it a thumbs up which I'm gonna be popping up as you know give it a thumbs up don't forget to also subscribe if you know you're subscribed to my channel and when you do subscribe make sure you also hit that bell button so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video on my youtube channel and uh, with that all said and done we're gonna get started with the testing so this i got for eight pounds so if you guys want to get this check your local primark store i don't think it's all primark store that have it but you never know you might find it in yours i really don't even know how much the kim k one is worth but i will probably insert it in the picture i'm going to be using as my screen server i am guessing it should be around almost 30 pounds or something i'm guessing because i never bothered to look at them kind of expensive product because i'm like <laughs> Don't go there, Debra. Just get the one you can afford. So here is how it looks. From the reviews I saw for the KKW um, contact kit, I noticed a lot of people complaining that the the sponge was too small and the brush was too small. And I think Primark made it as a bit bigger. Probably they took from other people's review. So the ass is a lot bigger than hers, I think. I don't know I feel it's bigger than our own the brush is not as dented like our own our own was quite fuller than this but I think this would do what it's meant to do anyways so this looks fine to me so our own I think she had two in it guys I really can't remember because it's been a while so I think she had two in our own and one was like for dark and then light I don't know how it was but i'm guessing she had two instead but primark has three and this i am guessing is two different shades because i haven't opened it i don't even know what i'm getting i don't know if it's my actual shade so this one yeah i think this one is for light skin so i like your under eye oh okay okay now that makes sense so this one right here is meant to be concealer to conceal your under eyes okay now that makes sense and then this one is going to be contour to contour your cheeks so this one is like the light contour the other side is the dark contour okay that's not bad i think this will work for me but probably anyone darker than me i don't know if it's gonna work on them i don't actually know if they have different shade there because the way it was set out in primark they were all together and they were all sealed i don't think you can open it and at the back of it i don't even know if it has the shade at the back yeah it doesn't have the shade at the back it basically looks like it's just one shade for everyone or you can see that it's basically the price that it was that i got it i don't know if you guys can see it which is eight pounds and then primark there yeah it doesn't really see the color that it is so i guess it's just one color for everyone I mean, I'm gonna have it then. The third and final product, which is this, and I'm guessing this is an highlighter. Wow, this highlighter is like on the white side. What were they thinking? This is basically white. Can you guys see that? That is white. Okay, 
we'll see how this is gonna look on me once we're done so, so let's all light out on the eye first with the light shade okay this one is white i can't even use this one this has no color to it this one has a bit of orange to it but it's still gonna look too light on me so we're just gonna try and use this but we're not gonna I like our eyes too much because we don't want it to okay it's actually not bad seems like my color and it's quite creamy guys it's quite creamy than at all and the funny thing oh, I already dirtied it the size of it as well <laughs> it's basically like came size as well I don't know Primax trying to be stingy as well I thought it was going to be bigger than this, but it's not. It's kind of like the same size as Kim's one. Oh well, Primark, we'll see what you're doing. Be out here trying to replicate all this iron products as well, wouldn't it? From what I've seen online as well, I saw that Revolution also has their own. But if I come across that one as well, I will do a review on that for you guys to see. Let's let's see how that one works as well but this one so far i like the way it feels okay i'm trying to see if there's a smell to it i can't, I can't pick any smell so basically it doesn't have a smell maybe there might be a bit of smell but i'm not picking it up so oh well there we go that's not bad primark that's anyways i can't say much now because we still need to blend it out I'm gonna try and use the brush as well. So to contour my face, they have this one that is quite ashy to me. I'm thinking this is meant to be like the soft contour, maybe. And then this one is meant to be the darkest contour, probably. I think I'm gonna go for this one because it has a bit of orange underneath it. Oh my gosh. Yeah guys, this is gonna look so, so dark on me, not even kidding. I'm gonna try not to use too much because since I know it's gonna look grey on me. I think they were trying to do this to suit all skin tone. That's why they made it one colour because from what I'm seeing right now, this looks like it's gonna look mouldy if you don't blend it out. Now we're gonna basically use that brush because I want to try everything so okay is it working or is it not I'm just feeling like a massive pain on my face from the way I'm using it it's so stiff guys <laughs> I'm not lying that sponge is so stiff but we we'll use it It's a bit surprising with the way it's blending guys it's blending out so easily i like that about the concealer but i don't think it's a full coverage concealer it's something that you're gonna have to build up if you want to have like an extremely full coverage i think i'm gonna go in with one layer again okay the brush is a lot easier to blend the concealer out with. That is good. This the kabuki side. It's a lot better to blend the concealer out. And it's quicker. And it's not moving much product around like the beauty blender side, which is not a real pretty blender, but it just says beauty blender side. Okay. What is going on? Okay. Okay, that looks a lot better. Yeah. This side looks a lot better. This is how it looks. It's not bad for the price. It's eight pounds. I don't know what you expect. You're gonna get eight pound primer product it's better than I expected it to be um, but we can't judge the book by its cover yet we need to finish our makeup and see how it's gonna see on the face so right now I'm gonna quickly set my under eyes and set my cream contour and I'll be right back 
so guys this is how it looks all set in why did i set my under eye with my w7 banana dream loose powder and then i also set the contour with the ulao lulu um, bronzer by w7 as well so what i tried to do was use one brand not use different brands because i want to see how it's gonna look you know after setting it and everything so far i'm not mad at it at all it's actually giving me a very very nice you know shape to my face I am actually not mad at this at all. So now what I want to do, I want to try the highlight type of one that looks like white. Okay, so I'm going to try that one. I hope I blended everything in nicely. Okay, yes we did. Okay, so we're going to try this. Oh my gosh, guys. If my video is a bit different from what you guys are used to, it's because I got a new ring light and I am testing it out. You know what? I'm going to rub it on my hand. And then I'm just gonna use warm it up, and then I'm gonna use my hand to apply it. And that's be the best thing to do at this point. Just you guys know, the girl likes highlight. I think I got a hang of this. So I wet the brush, and then I'm swelling the brush on top of it, and then I'm just stippling it, it in into my skin. It's not bad from what I'm seeing so far. I'm just gonna highlight my forehead because you guys know I love to highlight my face. Everything is gonna be highlighted. So now we're gonna highlight the nose. I'm not gonna lie guys, this pencil dries so quick, it's hard to use. It's really hard to use. You have to keep your brush damp at all time to use this pencil highlighter. I'm gonna do my under eyes. Okay. Like that. So guys, this is how it looks. I'm not mad at it. It's not the best, it's not the worst. Um contour kit out there from my personal opinion or my personal perspective if i'm gonna say number one again the brush was just like that i never bought a primer brush before but i know i've got um some primer um beauty sponge like they are hard as stone and i feel like that's what the other end of the brush is and then the stippling brush section is not bad i feel like that's what helped me a lot to even do this face to look like this it's not bad it's soft but not the softest brush you can ever have and um the cream contour part i don't mind it but to me it has a bit of this harshness to it so it depends on the skin tone that uses it but because i'm a bit light uh, it blended in really nicely but I know if someone that is a bit dark uses it, it's gonna turn out ashy and they don't have color range trust me guys they don't before I get in depth with the product and my thought on it I'm gonna quickly finish up my face and I'll be right back so guys here is the finished look right here I really love the way this look ended up I'm not mad at it at all what I would say about this product is just the highlighter stick which is the middle one um number one is too light and it doesn't come out like it's very very dry that you always have to get your brush wet just to apply it on your face to come out and at the end of the day it didn't give me the highlight i really wanted so i went back in with my normal highlighters just to you know bright my cheeks up a bit if you guys are wondering what highlighter i ended up using over that highlighter i used my clarice cosmetic highlighter i don't always reach for this but it's a very very nice highlighter so i went for this copperish color and this goldy color right here so i mixed them together that's why i ended up using on my cheek on the eye concealer that they had in there i feel like it's really really nice and creamy because it was quite creamy when i was applying it and it was easy to blend out and another thing i noticed it was beautiful as well because at the end of the day i got the full coverage i wanted and the contour stick the contour stick was amazing as well the only problem i had with it was the fact that it's just one color because if you think about someone that is a darker shade than me um it would look a bit ashy on them 
but um, overall it still worked on my color and um, their brush to me the brush was useless there was no point of having the brush in here the beauty the beauty um, blender side was really really stiff really really hard every time I was using it to blend out my under concealer it just kept moving the product and I could see my under skin um, so I decided to switch it over and use the face brush, the, you know, the Kibuki brush sec, um, area instead. So the Kibuki brush area did a lot better than the you know, sponge area because it didn't move the product as much as the sponge area. So yeah, I'll say this part is a lot useful than that one. And um, overall, for eight pounds, I'm not mad with this. It did highlight my face and it did contour my face the way the product was meant to be. And um, do I feel like it's better than the KKW? I don't know because the size is the same. Primark Pro has been a bit stingy as well. Like Personally, I've never tried the KKW one so there's no... I can't compare them unless I buy them and then I'll see the formula if it's any different. But from the reviews I've seen so far, I would say it's similar. Like, I feel like I'm getting the same vibe from the Primark one and the KKW one so if you feel like you don't have that huge amount of money to splurge it's fine you can try out the Primark one because it does do what it's meant to do anyways so guys that guys concludes this trying on Primark KKW dupe or whatever and thank you guys so much for watching if you know you subscribe to my channel guys I'm gonna keep it I'll tell you in the intro I'll tell you in the actual guys make sure you subscribe and when you do subscribe make sure you also hit that bell button so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video on my channel and don't forget to like this video again if you like it yes mm -hmm. so guys if you guys want to see my previous this video i'm gonna be leaving it by my left i always leave it by my left because that's where i have more space so i'm gonna be leaving it by my left if you guys want to see my previous video make sure you click on that and uh also subscribe because my face is going to be popping up as well somewhere in my right area where i'm sitting right here make sure you also click on that and to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and um, i'll see you guys in my next tutorial bye guys